Hi everybody, this is Brian Seymour, Director of Instructional Technology for Pickerington Local School District. Today we're going to walk you through a very brief introduction to Google Apps for Education. This is if you are basically a brand new user and you have not used it at all. So we're going to walk you through the different apps, how to log in, um, and all of the basic material that you're going to need um, to become a Google Apps for Education user. Okay. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to log in. Um, you should have your login information, your username, and your password. Um, and I, I would recommend that you either use Google Chrome, which may need to be downloaded onto your computer, um, or Safari. Um, those are the two that have worked so far. I'm going to use Google Chrome, just because it does seem to work a little bit better with that. So once you're there, um, you're basically going to go to google.com. Okay. And you're going to click on the blue sign in button. And we've made up a fake account. Um, so they're going to ask you to put in your username, which, if you have not yet been migrated, it's Bob, or it's your first name, underscore last name. So in this case, Bob underscore Ross at staff.plsd.us. After your school has already been, has been migrated, the staff portion will drop off and it'll just remain plsd.us, just like your email currently is right now. So you're going to need to type those in, and I can just go ahead and enter in my password. And here I am now. This is the main Google page. You've probably used this numerous times, but you notice up here in this upper corner, some more um, individualized, personalized um, icons have shown up here. All right, so to run through these real quick, um, this, where it says plus you, is the new Google um, Google Plus, which is kind of their social media side of things. It does have a lot of benefits that we're going to talk about a little bit later. Here's how to get into your mail. Here's how to get into an image search. This little button here will then drop down all of your different apps. And then this here will drop down into your account information, and you can see a couple different pieces. Okay? So the first thing that I want you, would like you to do is as you send messages to people, you can actually include a picture um, of, what it, of, of you so that people know who's sending the messages back and forth. It also works, works really good in Google Hangouts and so on. So to do that, you're going to start out in Mail. And if you've never used it, this is what you're going to see when you first open up your mail. Now this part down here is where I really want you to um, get so, some, some things done right off the bat. So you're going to go here to where it says set a signature and click on set a signature and this right here now is actually going to have you set your signature. So I would say Bob Ross and of course we know that Bob Ross should probably be an art teacher. So we'll say he's an art teacher at Pickerington High School Central and we could put down that Bob's email address, whatever it is that you want in your signature line. Okay, it's exactly like what we've done in the past. Okay, the other part, as you scroll down through here, there are quite a few pieces and parts that you might want to take a look at, you might not want to take a look at. Most of these we've set for you already for what we consider would be a standard default, uh, but if you want to make any changes, you're more than welcome to. So scroll all the way down, make changes. Okay. The next thing I'd like you to do is then add a picture of yourself. So change profile image. And we found a picture here of, of Bob Ross. So we're going to drag that picture over here. And then it's going to ask you to crop that picture. So you can just slide this right over. You can make this bigger or smaller, however it is that you want. But we'd like a picture of everybody's face on there so that way we can know who's sending messages, who's talking to us, who's chatting with us, so on and so forth. And we can make that one your profile picture. Okay. The other piece that's on here that you may want to do is learn how to use Gmail. And this will kind of guide you through a few different pieces and parts. Okay. So our next part is we're then going to go back to Google, okay, and you've got all of these pieces and parts back up here again, okay. So now we're going to click on your name, and then you're going to see this blue box here that says Join Google Plus. Well, I would recommend that everybody go ahead and join Google Plus, okay. 
And basically what this is going to ask you then to do is set up your birthday, so on and so forth. People will not be able to see this, so I'm not sure when Bob Ross was born, but I'm just going to make something up. Okay, and you're going to upgrade into this. All right. And then you can search for people, or you can continue, or you can add friends from other accounts, so on and so forth. But we really think that there's going to be some very, very encouraging um, pieces and parts uh, that we can use this for professional development, for future growth, uh, for networking, so on and so forth. So you can follow whatever it is that you want. Okay. Lots of different pieces and parts on here. Continue. You can say where you worked at. Pickerington, uh, so he's at Pickerington Central, art teacher, whatever, 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 okay? Finish, and you now have a Google Plus account, okay? And there's gonna be some things that are gonna walk you through, show you how to do these things, but basically what it is is, if I expand this a little bit here, you can start to see that there are different news items that are of interest to you depending on what it is that you said you want to be in your circle. So if later on if you want to add something to this um, you can just go up here and search art um, so you can see artists in the plus artist network so if I wanted to join artist network I could go to here and I could click on follow and then it pops this up is this person just somebody I want to follow is this friends family acquaintances connect with Google education so I'm just gonna click on following and voila I'm now following that so if I were to go back to my home profile I now am gonna get some things that are on here from artists so like I said depends on how you wanna do it and how you wanna set it up because it is personalized for you okay? the other thing I'd like to talk about is this little button here this is incredibly important these are all of your different apps that you are going to have so you can see we have Google Plus, Google Search, Gmail, Drive, Calendar, Sites, which is where you can actually make some websites, Google Groups, and Google Contacts. And yes, there is a way to take your personal contacts out of first class and put them directly into this, your contacts for Google. So you want to retype all those people back in. If you click on More, there's more, Google Maps, um, YouTube, you could set up your own YouTube channel, news, and so on and so forth. And then there is a way to get even more apps uh, from Google. There are two additional um, apps that I would like you to get that you kind of have to go in a different way to get those. The first one is Google Classroom. It's very, it's very simple to use. It's an LMS, a learning management system, kind of like Blackboard, but stripped down with some of the functionality. And to get to there, all you have to do is type in classroom.google.com. So classroom.google.com. And when you get to this page, it's going to say you are signed in as, make sure you're signed in as you, and then I would like to get started with Google Classroom. I am a student or I am a teacher. So if I'm a teacher, I click on teacher. And now I am in Google Classroom and I am now ready to set this up. So if I was ready to do my first class, I can hit create class. We could call this one art survey. And this is section number one, create. And I've now created my very first classroom and I'm now in Google Classroom. There's going to be more sessions on Google Classroom so we're going to kind of leave it at that as the introduction. Um, so the other one that I would like for you to get is we're going to go back to Google and we're going to click here again and we're going to click get even even more from Google and as we scroll down there's one way at the bottom called Google Hangouts. What Google Hangouts allows you to do is to have text, voice, and video chats amongst anybody inside of the domain. So for example, if you are an art teacher, let's say Bob Ross here, and I wanted at Central and I wanted to have a communication with an art teacher over at North, 
I could be able to do that through Google Hangouts. I can share documents through Google Hangouts. I can do uh, video, voice, and text chats. So to do that, you just click on uh, Hangouts and click on Get Hangouts. And then you want to do it, for this case, if you're on a computer, on a computer. If you want to do iPhone, iPad, iPod, those are on there as well. So computers, I'm going to add this. It's completely free. And I've now added it to Chrome. In this case, I've now added it here. So to start a new Hangout, all I would do then is type in a person's name. And let's say I wanted to chat with, with myself, I guess, here in this case. Um, then I could do that, um, like I said, via um, text, video, or audio. And we'll show you how to do that a little bit more later on. So basically, in a nutshell, that is the basic introduction to Google. And if we go back to Google here. So once again, you've got Google+, you've got Mail, you've got Image Search, you have all of your apps that you would like to use. You also will see we've got a new piece that's popped up here now. These are our notifications. So this will be notifications of what's come through. Uh, mostly on Google Plus, uh, but as that comes up, that will then show you the new the new items that are available for you. This here is to is also with Google Plus that can give you some information, and then here is what your picture would look like as it goes out to other people through email, through text, so on and so forth. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the introduction to Google. Uh, apps for education and I uh, hope you get starting to use things um, as we uh, roll through uh, this transition. Thank you very much.